So today I want to design a lemon floral bright and summery pattern. I was drawing out these illustrations the other day just sketching out the beginning stages of the pattern and I am obsessed with this bright and colorful color palette and as I was drawing it I'm like you know that blue kind of looks like the color in my bathroom so why don't I make a shower curtain for the bathroom and get everything updated. So that's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna take you along with the process. Hi Tate! What's he doing? Can you come in here? You gonna lay down on your bed? So, I'm gonna take you guys along with the pattern making process and then ordering some samples from either Redbubble, Society6, I have to look at the reviews and everything and decide which one to go with, but I think that's where I'm gonna order the shower curtain from. I'm really excited for it. And I'm excited to have a purpose for the pattern and kind of know where I want it to go. First things first is to uh, draw the elements and then add them to Illustrator and I'll take you along with the pattern making process in Illustrator. So I know I want lemons and I want pink and blue. I want this color palette. So I've got all my elements mapped out how I want them to be on separate layers and I'm going to export them all as PNGs. And then you're going to go up here and you're going to hit share export PNG files and when you do it this way it'll export all of them as a separate PNG. So I create a 12 by 12 document and then to the side of it I create a six by six inch square and this is where I'll make the pattern so I'm actually gonna put it over here. I'll bring in all the elements and make them into here and then resize it into the 12 by 12. So we're gonna drag everything that I just airdropped to my computer and bring it into here. Okay and now I'm gonna go through and crop everything down so that when I'm moving them around it's not like boxes everywhere. Illustrator isn't like ideal for PNG designs but I like using it better than Procreate. Obviously vector art is a little easier to play around with when you are making patterns in Illustrator but this will still work and I'm a lot faster with Illustrator than anything else. Now right now this is transparent and if I decide I want to add a background color, I'll just come in with the brush tool and fill that in white. So I wanted to have an option with no leaf and then with a leaf, so that's why I did that on a separate layer so I could have that option. I'm going to group this one so that it stays in place. So those are all my elements. I'm going to select them all and resize them down just a little bit so I can zoom in. Now if you wanted to make this vectorized, the option I would do is I'd come up to image trace and I would do 16 colors and see what that gets you. Um, that turned out actually really good. So this would be my vectorized version and this is the you know, honestly, that's really decent, and I almost am debating if I should just do it vectored or not. I'm not sure. <laughs> not sure what I'm gonna do. I'll just make the pattern first and then decide later if I want to vectorize them all. Okay, here's the moment of truth. The pattern has been made. And this is what it looks like. Okay, let's zoom in. Look at how beautiful this is. I love the texture in it. I'm obsessed with this. Holy crap. I can't wait to have this made. So I ended up reworking this pattern a little bit and kind of rearranging some of the elements, but this is it. And then I needed to make a full collection for it. So you've got the leaves which I really like that one and then this one is obviously a lot of the pink flowers this one's a more refined simple version which I think is very delicate and like I just really like this one 
I it surprised me I usually go for the really chaotic ones as my favorite like this is obviously still my favorite but this one surprised me and this would be like a good complimenting like to that I don't know then we did the slices which I thought was really nice and simple and then the stripes which I think I still need to rework this one so that it's seamless from top and bottom. So that is the full collection. I'm so happy with how this turned out. I ordered the shower curtain in this pattern, so that should be coming in a few weeks. So for now, what I'm doing is I am making the listings for the patterns and this is the listing for it. I have to resize those ones still, but yeah, so it's that's the main cover and then I have the fabric rolls which I have to go in and edit those from St. Patrick's and then the swatches. I think it turned out good. I really like how they look. So I'm excited to start getting these up and in the shops. Okay guys, the most exciting package just came in the mail. I have not opened it yet, so we're gonna open it together. I got a package from Redbubble. And actually, let me show you something first. So earlier in this video, I believe I was showing you the finished product of my floral lemon. And I got a sample in from Spoonflower. So this is a fabric swatch from Spoonflower and it turned out wonderful. So I have high hopes for this shower curtain. We're just gonna open it up. I like that they made these bags easy to open. Okay. Okay. We're gonna have to scooch back. This looks so good. And I'm not even just like, I cannot fake excitement. Where's the top? Okay, here we go. Oh my God, you guys, I am so excited. This turned out way better than I expected. Like, I don't know what I was expecting, but honestly, I'm obsessed with this. And we're gonna have to go put this up right now. I don't think I'm gonna be able to wait. It costs way more than I want to admit ordering it from Redbubble, but I think it's gonna be worth it because it's my design, my pattern on a real large product, and it's the first time I'm doing something like this, so. I can't believe it. Okay, let's go put this up. Okay, so just to recap, this is what we were working with. It was just a regular cheap one from Amazon. Here she is in all her glory. Oh my gosh. I, I'm obsessed. So I wanted this blue to be more blue, but not identical. Uh, I didn't want it to be too matchy matchy and too like, like other people want to be able to use this. But oh my goodness, it looks so much better. I'm so happy. And it's like my design, so I just think that's really cool. 